August 28th is the release date. War Room will come out at about 1,100 theaters uh, nationwide. And we are so excited because it's a call to the church back to focused strategic prayer and uh, how to do warfare in prayer. And uh, we do it in a, in a very inspirational way. The movie's very entertaining. It's uh, tense and dramatic. Uh, it's got some great uh, humor in it. But uh, at the end of the day, we want to we wanna remind people about the power of prayer. And when you talk about the power of prayer, it just brings to mind the way that that you guys approach the films that you make. You really, and I know that that you guys say that before you do a movie, you basically go into prayer. You ask God, number one, if he would have you do another movie. And then he lays it out for you. Talk about the prayer process that went into actually the making of War Room. There's a difference between a good idea and a God idea. Yeah. And we think we have good ideas, but what we need is to be about the things God wants us to be about. So we have learned to go through a season of prayer. I'm not just saying, God, show me, and when you show me, I'll do it. Where It's seeking the Lord, saying, Lord, we want to please you, want to magnify you, want to honor you. We're asking for wisdom and discernment. We're asking that you prepare our hearts for what you want to call us to do, because we want the greatest impact possible. And this, and this really means a year and a half of our lives. Every film we do takes about 18 months of our time from researching, writing, scouting, shooting, editing, and promoting. And so I don't want to spend the better part of two years of my life on something that's not going to make a big impact. And so um, uh, we prayed about it. The Lord turned our hearts towards specifically uh, warfare, prayer, and calling the nation and the church back to specific prayer, seeking him, Second Chronicles 714. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, will forgive their sin and heal their land. And so we made this movie War Room, which follows the correlation of a military war room, which is, as we know, when we come across a, an enemy, they form a war room. The military calls in uh, the, the strategists, and they form a strategy, call in the resources, disseminate the plan to the people in the field, and then attack the enemy. In like manner, spiritually, we need to be doing the same thing, praying Scripture over our, our, our marriages, our children, our, our personal walk, our family, churches, and our nation before we interact with whatever issues we're facing. You first tackle those in prayer. Well, let's talk about this, the way that this is portrayed in the film. You basically have one of your lead actors, Priscilla Shire. We'll talk about her here in, in a little while, but she is a real estate agent, and she meets a lady that is, is preparing to, to sell her house, and she talks about the most important room in her house. Her favorite room is the war room. It's her prayer room. So how does <laughs> how does war room praying differ from the well the type of prayer that all too often we find ourselves doing? Yeah, you know, we tend to do convenient, comfortable prayers that are mostly selfish. We're asking God for protection, for blessing, for guidance. You know, we, we want to have great jobs and healthy lives and all those sorts of things. So, and it's not terrible to pray for those things. But our first priority must be seeking God more than just seeking pleasures and comforts for ourselves. You know, I was reminded of a great analogy of a, of a locomotive train where the engine obviously is pulling everything else. Well, when we think, think of the provision of God, we want that. The protection of God, we want that. The promises of God, we want to cling to those. But the most important thing that's pulling those train, all those other P words, if I could say, is the person of God. That's the engine. The person of God is what we seek first, and then all these things are added. We seek first the kingdom of God, and all these things are added. So when we seek after God, Jeremiah twenty nine thirteen says, if you seek me, you'll find me if you seek me with all your heart. The Lord wants us to seek him, to worship him, to honor him, and then all these other things come after that. So our priorities must be right. When we seek to honor God, what does that do to our worldview, to our, the, our perspectives of political correctness and everything else? It falls in line with what honors God. And that's what we want to get our church and our country back to. So the prayer room is what happens when we actively seek the Lord, not out of convenience, not out of comfort, but we spend time daily in our war room or a prayer room. It doesn't have to be a closet, by the way. It can be any place that you're not distracted. But, yeah. we, but we use a closet because Matthew 6, verse 6 says, when you pray, go into your inner room, shut the door. Your Father who sees what's done in secret will reward you. So God wants to be sought without distraction. We're already good at praying before meals when we're sick or corporately in our churches. Fine, but may we actually actively and passionately seek after God more than anything else. And when we do that type of work, the work of prayer, God will do incredible things.